IHTN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to our third episode of Braves Beat for 2023. I'm Sarah Beck. And I'm Izzy Warshan. Wait, Izzy, did you know that it's National Cheese Lovers Day? No, but did you know that today is National Acceptance Day? No, but did you know it's National DJ Day? No. Well, did you know that Winter Homecoming is just one week away? Yes, I did actually. Next Saturday from 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., students are invited to enjoy a Winter Wonderland themed celebration. If you are bringing a student from another school, please be sure to turn in the guest form to the office by January 27th. Tickets to the dance are $20 and can be purchased using the link in the description. Speaking of Winter Homecoming, during school next week leading up to the dance, there will be a Spirit Week competition. Students can participate by dressing to the daily themes and sending pictures of their outfits to the student government Instagram. Each day, a winner will be chosen from senior judges and will receive a prize. Some of our fellow classmates displayed the themes for this upcoming week. Let's go see what they got. Monday is pajama day. Tuesday, dress like a celebrity. Wednesday, hit the slopes. Thursday, ugly sweater day. And Friday, freshmen, wear gray. Sophomores, wear white. Juniors, we're black, seniors, we're wrong. Well, Braves, show us what you got. Be sure to go all out for this year's Winter Spirit Week. To follow up from her Community Service Corner segment last week, Hannah Pollock decided to ask some of the student body what they've done for, to complete their Community Service Hour requirement. Let's check it out. Where did you do your Community Service Hours? I did them um, all at Matthew 25, but I did do some uh, like at home. It was basically writing these letters to veterans. What did you do to complete your community service hours? Uh, I helped clean up after the youth football games at the stadium. What did you do to complete your community service hours? I did concessions and I helped out with marathons. What did you do to complete your community service hours? I did unified bowling. Hi Max, what did you do to complete your community service hours? <laughs> um, I volunteered at animal shelters and soup kitchens around town. What did you do to complete your community service hours? Um, I volunteer at St. Gertrude Parish. Um, I do a thing called Flock Note. Some of those community service opportunities sound really fun. Thanks, Hannah. The Indian Home Mock Trial team traveled to the Ohio State University on Sunday for the Buckeye Brawl. Rohan Kotian and Sophia Chen won Best Attorney Award, while Joseph Kane yet again won Best Attorney twice. While Audrey Phillips, Alex Tasner, Lily Andrews, and Ashwini Krishnan each won best, best Witness. Lastly, the Indian Hill Team A came home with the second place trophy, winning on all, all their ballots, and went on with tiebreakers against 22 other teams. Congrats to all of our mock trial members. Is your New Year's resolution to eat healthier? Well, then you should go check out Bar 9. These homemade, gluten free, and vegan protein bars will be sold tonight at the Homeboys basketball game against Marymount. You'll have to try my personal favorite, peanut butter cinnamon. Even though we are Braves Beat Anchor veterans, I still get tired from all the news we announce. Why don't we take a quick commercial break? Need a one-stop shop to buy all the popular designer items at half the price? Well, Target is the place for you. Let's check out all of their dupes. Charlotte Tilbury dupe. Dyson Dupe, Olaplex Dupe, American Girl Doll Dupe, Lamborghini Dupe, Ray Bench Dupe, Prada Dupe, Skims Dupe, Aritzia Dupe, Triangle Dupe, Lululemon Dupe. Sarah, hey, do you want to maybe go to Target today and get some Prada bags? Definitely, but let's finish anchoring first. The Indian Hill Quiz team competed in the North Mint academic challenge tournament this past weekend and the varsity squad finished in fifth place overall with a record of 6-2 and a strong field. Congrats! Fellow Braves Beat veterans Reese and Chloe have a sports report they are ready to share so let's throw it over to them. Thank you Sarah and Izzy. I'm veteran Reese Tuttle. And I'm veteran Chloe Hutton. Here's this week's sports report. On Monday, the boys basketball team lost to Wyoming and on Tuesday our boys went against Taylor. Unfortunately they lost. Get them next time Braves. This past Saturday, the girls' basketball team fought hard against Taylor, but unfortunately fell short. On Wednesday, the Braves lost to Loveland. This Saturday, they will face Marymount at 1.30 p.m. You got it, Lady Braves. The wrestling team traveled to Columbus and wrestled in the Triad Invitational on Saturday. Congrats to wrestlers Adam Christo, who came in second place, and Demir Almertov, who came in sixth. 
The next match will be on Washington Court House this Saturday. Good, Good luck, luck wrestlers. wrestlers. Both bowling teams went against Reading Wednesday night. Unfortunately, they suffered a tough loss. Get them next time, bowlers. The Algar Braves competed in the Southwest Classic this past weekend. Congrats to Arjun V, Neil Oak, Logan Bass, and Aiden Oak. Additional congrats to Marina Oria, Arjun V, and Grace Yu for qualifying in individual events. But the overall highlight of the night was Jason Zhao winning the 500 free on Saturday and his time in the 1650 swimming version of the mile on Sunday. Also note that Gabby Hens qualified for finals. Finally, Arjun V, Jason Zhao, Gibson Holmes, and Jeffrey Winker swim a remarkable 134.54. Congrats to 25 top finalists Josie Festa in third with 367. Marisol Mason in 11th with 281.70. And Courtney Winker in 13th with 273.6. You know, Chloe, Aqua Braves never cease to amaze me. Nah, for real. In gymnastics, Samantha Rosakis had season high on floor with 7.8 and all around was 27.5. She is making great strides in picking up skills and making the adjustments in her routines. The next competition is against Centerville High School this Saturday. Track and fielders OGC cleared 5.8 and finished third in the high jump at the OSU indoor meet. Fantastic job. The Helping Future Athletes Club will be holding a drive to collect sports equipment starting Monday, January 23rd through the end of February. There will be bins in the front lobby for you to drop off your donations. Additionally, be sure to donate on Tuesday, January 24th at the Wyoming basketball game. Please be sure to see the flyer for more information or email David Isaacs with any additional questions. Oh man, Reese, we almost forgot the Athletes of the Month. Oh, right. Well, congrats to Ava Buffetta with cheerleading. Olivia Dowling and CJ Hayden with basketball. Vitaly Krista with wrestling. Sky Williams and Chase Roth with bowling. Gabriella Hentz with swimming. And Josie Festa with diving. Okay, Chloe, I don't know about you, but I'm uh, getting pretty exhausted. Reese, we've been doing this for two years. Get over yourself. Fine. I did. I, let's, let's take it back to the news desk. Thanks, Reese and Chloe. Help us improve our future Braves Beat episodes by scanning the QR code on the screen and filling out the survey. We will appreciate all of your feedback. Don't forget to stop by the Media Center this afternoon to watch our IH quiz team take on the teachers starting at 3 o'clock. OMG Izzy, what's your favorite kind of cheese? Um, Kombi Jack. <laughs> Well, that's all, folks. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates, and please be sure to rate this program by scanning the QR code on the screen. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. What's your least favorite mode of transportation? I really hate driving. I really hate it. Okay. Yeah. What's the most boring sport to play and watch? Golf. I agree. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> What's the most boring sport to play and watch? Um, the most boring sport to play, in my opinion, is probably swimming. <laughs> and to watch, I would probably have to say swimming. Okay, thank you. What kind of tree would you be in why? Oh, um, I don't know, like a Christmas tree? A pine tree? Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you had the chance to invent a country, what would you name it? Oh. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Jedmo Land. What's your least favorite mode of transportation? Walking. <laughs> if you had the chance to invent a country, what would you name it? Devonland. Okay, thank you.